Oh my gosh, it's another toad. Oh my, it might be bigger. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're out with Ryan Raiden Outdoors with Chuck. We are about to hopefully get on some fish. We are at a spot that it's been slow for us in the past, and at the same time, we've caught uh, some fish over three pounds here before, some bass specifically. Today, the agenda changed, ladies and gentlemen. We were actually on our way to go fish a sick creek. Uh, we were going to actually do some bow fishing for the first time on the channel. Well, second time, really. We had done it one time, but then I bought my own bow, so it would be the first time with this guy right here. Check that out. Ooh, it was locked and loaded. But anyways, the park was closed. We weren't able to go venture down into the creek below the Lake Louisville Dam like we wanted to. So instead, we're just gonna do some traditional bass fishing you guys have been used to for the last few years on the channel. How about that? <laughs> I've got a couple rods in the car. Guys are already rigging up. And uh, we're just gonna get some lines in the water and see if we can't put something together for you guys. So stick around and let's try and get on some fish. All right, y'all, we are rigged up with the drop shot and the clickbait. We finna see which one's gonna hit. I don't know what I'm gonna throw first. I might go on the bottom just, just, just to test the waters and then throw the clickbait. Typically you'd start with the moving bait, but you know, I'm just feeling, I'm feeling a drop shot for a second. Seems like the right weather for a moving bait. Well y'all, maybe 10 minutes in, the drop shot ain't getting it. I think I'm gonna switch to the moving bait. I got a feeling there's some stuff on the move. Let's toss out the new goods. Well, time to go to the spot we were at the other day. All right y'all, we're making a move. This place is dust today. We have made the move and are gonna toss out the click bait. This is a half ounce as displayed, hand tied skirt, double hook keeper, not a double hook keeper. I sound like a rookie, don't I? Oh, I am a rookie. <laughs> double plastic keeper though, that's gonna keep my swim baits on there nice and tight. It is a 3.3 inch saucy swimmer, by the way. And uh, a stout hook, oh my. That is what's gonna be rocking it today. And it's got that clicking sound because what happens is in the water, these beads will clank up against the blade clickbait entirely something entirely new to the market man we are pumped on this just a steady retrieve see if we can't get us a couple fishies this afternoon look at this weather dude this is cool like this is looking good there he is got one come on in here first one on the clickbait baby all it takes man a little saucy swimmer on the back there first one of the day we have gotten the skunk off our backs thank you sir i was about to say it had been 10 minutes here almost with me charles and ryan all throwing moving baits with no bites yet i was thinking maybe i need to switch to something like a texas rig nope just gotta find him What do we got? There we go. Is this a little bigger? I don't think so. He's, he's either big or swimming straight towards us. I don't know what we got. There we go. Another about a pound and a quarter. Number two. Come on in. They are liking the clickbait. The line on this pool is just all uneven. That's number three. Fish number three on the clickbait. They're just loving it. This is awesome. This is the, what I believe to be sold out shad and chartreuse colorway. You guys can check out the clickbaits down in the description, either from uh, Guggen Squad or Carl's Bait and Tackle. A couple options. Also, I found this one locally at a Dick's uh, Sporting Goods slash like Field and Stream shop store. So, if there happens to be some in your area, you're gonna have to scoop them up quick. People are buying these things for the holidays, man. They are probably gonna be the best gift under the tree for the fishermen you know. So grab some clickbaits if you have not already because they are going fast. Crankbait pulling through. Yeah, all right, we've all caught fish now. That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> Eat it. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting bites. Eat it, eat it. 
Got a little guy. What do we got here? I don't think that's a bass. Yeah, he's going crazy. First cast drop shot. That's a bass. He's a chunker. Oh my God. That's the fattest bass I've caught like all year. What? Future double digit right there. All right, that's four fish on the day for me. Nice and easy like. See you, bud. If you guys have never thrown a drop shot before, essentially you've got to wait at the bottom and then your bait is elevated, usually between like eight inches to about 18 inches. Just kind of depends on maybe the cover within your body of water, how far you might want to rig the bait up. I, I tie a Palomar knot to get this extra line here. And then I just put like a quarter ounce weight. This is a one knot stickies hook from Carl's Bait and Tackle. And then of course the uh, drag and drop as my drop shot bait of choice. Little drop shot rig. This is how you get bites when nothing else is hitting, man. A drop shot is like finesse. It is like the definition of finesse. I mean, you are dropping it down to where you should be getting a lot of hits. Small bass, decent sized bass. I got another bite right there. Stuff's going after it every cast. I mean, it's just, it's an easy, easy meal for these fish. And so it's definitely a confidence bait, especially in the wintertime as it cools down and you're getting a lot less hits. Throw out a little drop shot and you will be catching some bass. I can all but guarantee it. Oh no, took my worm, boy. Well, dad gum it. All right, I didn't have any backup drop shot baits, so I came over here and got the goods. More dragon drops and green pumpkin pearl. I've got one more pack of the standard size, and then I've got five inch pack, and they're a little bit beefier. See, those ones in my right hand are about twice as thick. So, might get a true lunker on these guys right here. We'll see. First cast with the new bait on here. I think I actually have something on this hook. What do I have? Oh, it's a turtle. Here we go. Sorry about that, bud. Try to get himself a little drag and drop right there. How you doing? I didn't know there was no fishing. No, sorry, there's not. Okay, I'll get out of here. I'm sorry about. It, yeah, of course. Yeah, thank you. Well, y'all, KFC gave us the boot, so unfortunately for this productive pond, we ain't gonna be able to fish it anymore. We're gonna head down the street though. I know some juice that I have not tapped into in quite some time. Kentucky Fried Chicken. All right, let's hustle. Well, this spot looks pretty sick. It's a little walk from the parking lot, but I think it'll be well worth it. Been a long time since I've hit this one right here. Been kicked out of a few around in this area, but not this one specifically. So let's see how long we got at this spot. Can we just get a ride back to our vehicles on the golf cart, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one, boys. Yeah, I mean, if you don't go by those signs over there, you can tell them you didn't read them. Oh, oh, I just got hit too. I saw his wake. Maybe. Yep. Got one. Little guy. Nice way to start things off, though, at the second spot. Or is this the third spot? <laughs> See you, bud. All right, we're on the board. Yeah, it is the third spot. Got him. Oh. Just got hit. There we go. Got him. Fish number two. That's my biggest one of the day also. I'm not saying too much, but, ooh, feisty little guys out here. I'm not sure if they've been caught before. He don't know the drill. That's awesome. You can tell this spot doesn't get fished too much. Healthy bass out here, man. That's number two. See ya. There we go. Got us one. There we go. Another pound and a half. We will take it. See ya, bud. In search of the giants. I know they're around, man. That is the problem. You wouldn't think a business is gonna stock their spot with all these little fish, but it kinda seems like they might. Big body of water, though. Lots of grass around the edges. Plenty of area for the bait to hide. Looks like the proper ecosystem for a true giant. I wouldn't doubt there's a double digit in this thing. I mean, like, there's, there's gotta be. These bass are well fed, but for sure, there's like some sixes and sevens in here. There's no doubt. No doubt in my mind there's some sixes and sevens at all. Ooh, and this clickbait is just scurrying. I'm waiting, man. It's always funny, you like, you catch all the little fish, you catch all the little fish, and you just assume you're not gonna get any big ones. And, and then out of nowhere, you actually get a giant. I don't know if that's what this is, but this one's definitely, it's gotta be bigger gotta be bigger yeah it's my biggest one of the day yeah see sometimes it happens like that guys there you are that's a three pounder right there that might even go for uh mm, that's a three pounder is all i'm gonna say wow there we go guys clickbait just dominating that is what i'm talking about fatty 
Oh my gosh, we're finding where they're at, boys. Whoo, getting pumped out here. Y'all, there we have it. Closing out the sunset sesh with a clickbait fish. Probably gonna go for three pounds, but my scale has been acting up lately. I can't even put anything on it and weigh it accurately. So I'm just gonna assume here, that's a chunk, man. Absolute chunker. Big old fish, we're pumped on that one. Let's get this thing back in the water. Sick, man. Sometimes when you're not catching fish, just gotta talk to you guys a little bit. Just gotta talk to the GoPro. And then boom, <laughs> out of nowhere. Let's see if we can get some more. We still got plenty of light left. And we haven't got the boot yet, very surprising. Take a look at this place, man, it's beautiful. All right, guys, let's get back in the water. That was cool, nice little backhanded hook set. Wasn't too much of a hook set anyways. He was real heavy on there, so he pretty much hooked himself with the way he swiped at it. Let's see if maybe there's a couple more hanging out along those rocks. He hit kind of like right along the edge of it there. Oh, yes there is. Yes there is. Yes there is, and it might be another two plus. Oh my gosh. What have we got here, boys? Oh yes. Oh my gosh, it's another toe. Oh my. It might be bigger. Dude, two threes back to back. Okay. Woo, well, Saucy Swimmer, you done good. You done good, pal. I don't know how many fish that is. And like I said, my scale's acting up, but we're gonna get a measurement on this fish right here. You're a mean one, Mr. Bass. All right, so he's going for 17 and a half. I don't know if he's gonna cross three pounds, but I kind of doubt this one's gonna cross three pounds, but he's nice and plump, man, very fat. They're feeding up. That is the deal right there. Let's go, bud. So next time, rig up another saucy swimmer real quick. Is there more than two along this rock? I am quite curious. Oh, something just hit us on the bottom. He's literally got it. Watch this hook set. I just set that like a Texas rig. I think I have a fish on here. I might be wrong. Oh my God. I just got hit on the bottom, dude. That was so nuts. That was crazy. I was just letting it sit. I felt the bite twice. I guess I should have just, uh, I assumed he had grabbed it. I should have kind of like reeled a little bit and kind of let him chase it or eat it just to be sure I had the weight on there before I set it. But I was feeling like Superman and I was going to be all cool for the vlog and just be like, oh yeah, there's the bite, set the hook. Didn't work out. I want to bring the kayaks here and hit that waterfall so bad. Ryan's got to go, y'all. We will see you on the next one. Go check him out. I think all of his information is in the description. If not, I screwed up. So have a good night. I think I'm just going to make a few more casts myself. Maybe toss this drop shot around for a second. See what happens. Oh, got some hits. Oh god, oh wow, oh hey, how are you? Oh gosh, okay. I think this is bigger than a pound. Oh my gosh. Wow, we just got a uh, good hit on the drop shot out of nowhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Things got a little bit of weight to it. This is funny. I don't think it's like much bigger than two pounds if that, but <laughs> wow. Can we get some more big bass, please? Oh gosh. Epic, I'm just gonna flip them up here. Yeah, I'm just gonna flip you up here, bud. Oh my goodness. Nuts, dude. Oh, we are on the fish tonight. Oh, and this thing's got some sharp teeth. Another bass to close out the evening on the drop shot. Thank you. We'll probably see you guys back at the car now. I think we're wrapping things up. The sun is setting. Tough to want to leave when the bite's hot, y'all. I just rigged up the larger size drag and drop. This is the five inch and a little beefier. See if I can get another fish to uh, hit right over here before I call it quits. Casting in about the same spot, just right out here in the middle. All right, y'all, we couldn't get any more hits, but go ahead and check out the guys down in the description we were fishing with. You've seen them a lot on the channel lately, and we're getting out with them for a lot of fun ideas coming up in the future. So don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Drop a like for this one. We got some hits on the clickbait and the drop shot. Let us know what you guys would like to see done with the clickbait in the future. It's uh, brand new to the market and going to become a confidence bait for many. So if you guys have any specific video ideas, I would love to cover some of those. So drop those comments down in the description, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Hey! <gasps>